Hello folks, we're going to show you about the potion of harming and how to make it. It's pretty cool. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still trying to get over my sickness. Um, we're going to show you two parts. One, the potion itself, but two, the splash potion, because that's probably the more useful one. That might be what you are here watching for anyways. Not just the regular potion, but the splash potion. So let's do the regular potion first. Now we're going to need to get some nether warts. We're also going to need to get some glistering melons. Let's get four... Oh, let's get six. You'll, I'll show you why. Also going to need some gold nuggets. I probably don't have enough here for eight. Oh, exactly eight. Okay, I'm fine. So take the gold nuggets and put all the way around the melon to get the glistering melon. To get gold nuggets, you just put a gold bar in your inventory, just, or your crafting, just one right here, and then it comes out as gold nuggets. So we've got our eight now. We also need those nether warts. Now when I go to brew, I like to array these in fours like this. I'm going to do four, four, let's see, oh, I am missing something. Ah, okay, I'm in survival, I'm going to have to go into creative, because I forgot something. We need fermented spider eyes, got to get those. Okay, anyways, we got our fermented spider eyes, and then we're going to have glowstone. Okay. Now, come to your brewing stands. I like to do four. You can do as many as you want, though. Oh, man, I forgot my bottles. Okay, we want to get 12. That's how many we can hold here. And again, never use a cauldron water for, get, for your potions. Always use a water block source. Oh, yeah, I'm in creative. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. I prefer to do this in survival when I show you this. But maybe we'll just stay in creative just so we can do this faster. Okay, put the water blocks up there. Or the water bottles. It should be 12. Is it nighttime? Oh, it's just raining. There. Okay, so we got the water bottles there. Now we want to put the nether warts. And this is why I raid them like this, because then I can just left click and shift, left shift and then left click and throw them into the brewing stand really fast. Okay, so we're letting them brew. A lot of place we live in here. Okay. Looking for that sound. Ah. Okay. Glycerin melon time. Wait for those to brew. Next, of course, will be the fermented spider eye. So, um, the purpose of the fermented spider eye, it means um, opposite or inver inverted or something. So, like, um, instead of healing, you put... So, that technically, it was a potion of healing right now. Spider-Man, or Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man right here. Ooh. Fermented spider eye means make opposite. So, we put that in there. And that will make it so instead of healing, it will be harming. Now, of course, harming, it harms people like us and mobs like us, but the undead, it actually heals. So if you actually threw this at a zombie, it would heal it. You might want that. I mean, maybe you're trying to convert a zombie villager and it's hurt too bad and you're worried it might die. Throw a post slash potion of harming at it. Heal it up. Okay, now we have harming. Let's throw in the glowstone. Now, the reason I'm throwing in glowstone and not redstone, because there are two things. There's redstone and glowstone. Redstone means increase time. Glowstone means amplify. Um, harming is one thing where you can't increase the time. So glowstone's the only choice you have. But it'll amplify it so it does more. See? Instant damage 2 instead of instant damage 1. And now we have these. Okay. And if we were to go drink it, now I'm in creative right now, so it's not doing any harm to me, which is good. But if I had to drink it, it would start hurting me. Should we try it? Oh! Oh! If I were to drink another one right away, I, I would be dead. Okay. Now you're wanting to see splash potion, so let's do that. Let's, let's just get all this out of my inventory. Okay, we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
Okay, do do do. Put the water balls back in. There's three, yeah. Okay. Now, instead, starting with another wart, we start with gunpowder. Then nether wart. And then the glistering melon, and then the spider eye, and then the glowstone. A lot of more, more steps here, aren't there? Okay. Whoops. Let's start with gunpowder. Gunpowder means splash potion. Basically, it just makes it explosive. Oh, well, not like it explodes like TNT or anything. It just allows it to, to have an explosion effect. Okay, and now splash potions. Now I can put in the nether wart. Okay. Now we can do the glistering melon. Pay some back and forth. Good boy. La 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 la. Let's come back. Okay. Push the flash potion of health. Now we want harming. Boom. Boom. Um, boom. And then the last step will be the glowstone. What an interesting world. There's a horsey. And his fellow horsey. Very nice. Now the glowstone. Which amplifies it so it does more harming. In case you're wondering, a good way to get glowstone. Uh, what? Oh, it really wants to rain today. Oh, this is the one that's going to thunder. It's probably going to thunder. Um, glowstone, if you go to the nether and use a silk touch uh, to get the glowstone, then you can pull out more glowstone from it. Another way is to trade with villagers. You can actually have an infinite source of glowstone with villagers. You've got a good trading root source uh, setups, so you're getting lots of emeralds from them, and glowstone becomes really cheap and you just get a ton of glowstone. So that's another good way. Okay, now these are done. Let's pull them out. Pull out the 12. Not bad, not bad. Should we go test it on this cow? Let's go throw it. Let's put ourselves in the survival, huh? Oh no! One more will probably kill it. If I can get him to stop running. Yep. Basically a grenade. If I throw it right here... Oh! One more and I'll kill myself, won't I? Yeah, it basically makes a grenade. And if there were a zombie, and I threw it, it would heal the zombie. Pretty cool, huh? Oh! Huh? <laughs> Woo! Well, that one killed it instantly. Maybe it hits it directly because it does like 10. It probably does 10 hearts or 11 hearts of damage. Or 10 damage, not 11 hearts, just 11 points of damage. Because cows and pigs and sheep, they have 10 life, but zombies and stuff have 20 life. So they take more. But this will heal them, of course. Anyways, well that's the potion of harming. So you saw the two ways you can do it. Just the regular potions that you drink, like in here. Or the splash potions, which when it comes to harming, that's the way you want to make them. You want them to be splash potions. Well, okay, so that's it, guys. And hope you enjoyed watching. And now you can go make your own awesome potions of harming. Okay, well, bye.